Hey there, my friends, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today we're going to learn X's and O's by Ellie King. This is a really super cool tune. Sounds really old school, kind of like a swing, um, rockabilly, bluesy, old school, like Nancy Sinatra type stuff. Super cool. And I'm going to teach the song today. I'm sorry I'm looking at my hand because I haven't been playing for a little while because of the holidays and my hand's bleeding. So that's cool. Whatever. Um, so let's um, let's dig into this. It's a really super cool song. It's not that difficult. We're using chords that I include in my nine essential chords video that's here on YouTube. The link is below. Here's the deal. If you know those chords, you can play millions of songs. So we're going to be using them here in this song to um, support that statement. Okay. This is one of the millions of songs you can play with. it. Okay. The chords that are in this that I cover in the nine essential chords, so I'm not going to go over each individual chord other than telling them to you, because if you want to know how to play those chords, you need to go to that video. So the chords are going to be E minor, B7, and then we have a G, D, A minor, and a C. Okay, so we got six or so of those essential chords. And then I'm doing a cool little... Uh, And then when we're on the B7, we're doing a... And that's just called a walking bass line. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to talk about the strumming rhythm and the whole bit. So hang in there with me. Okay. So assuming you know those chords now, if you don't, you've got one place to go. The other place you can go is yourguitarsage.com. You can get the free ebook there. And, um, or better yet, go to the... First 30 lessons that I teach all students for free. The link is below. Um, HD videos, first, literally, the first 30 lessons that I teach everybody. And I have the nine essential chords in there, and you can download the page and all the whole nine yards. Okay, so if you need more help, you got it there. So, assuming you're back, let's go. So, the basic rhythm is a one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. Okay? I cover this in my strumming videos um, that are included in that course, so make sure you check that out. So basically, the way you're going to think is you're going to emphasize two and four very loudly. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And we're doing a shuffle. So a straight rhythm would be this, like a grandfather clock. It doesn't move. It's binary. It's chick, 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 chick. A swing is one where thinking like we're skipping down the street. That's a shuffle. Some people call it a swim. Okay? Shuffle beat. Um, and so what, the way you're going to play that is one, two, three, or sorry, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Now, I don't like teaching that way. I like to teach the numbers because it's always going to assure that you're in the right place. If you watch that strumming video, you're never going to have a problem with strumming again. Okay, that's the strum that we're going to be using for this. Now, if you have a problem playing the chords and strumming at the same time, leave out the strum for right now. Practice it separately like this. And then learn the chords and then mesh them together when it's time. But if you try to throw it all together there, it's going to be a train wreck. You're going to have a not a fun time, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's talk about the chords and what I'm doing here, a little trick there. So, you know, we hear this bass line going... Uh, okay, and the notes there are E, B, D. So E, B, D, E. B, D. Okay, and so we can hear the bass player playing that, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could do that? So, um, you know, you could hit the B here, and then the open D, so you could do something like this. Okay, so this is a B, which is the second fret of the A string, then the open D. I cover that in those 30, those free 30 videos. So 
so you'll know all the notes off across the fretboard in like five minutes. So um, you got that, okay? Now, I prefer to play it like this. I just think it feels better, looks better, whole nine yards. So what I'm doing there, I'm, I'm hitting that one bass note. So I kind of hit the bass note, then the strum. Okay. And you can do a one, two, and if you want. Then you don't have to just go one, two, three, and four. And you can throw in some upbeats, but the emphasis is on the two and the four. So one, two. So here I'm going like one, two, and. And then I'm just doing three, four. And I'm doing downstrokes on three and four, as you should for all the numbers. Upstrokes get ands, or the ands get upstrokes. So for these two, three, four, okay? That's the seventh fret of the E string, or the, the, the sixth string, and the fifth fret of the fifth string, which is known as the A string. Okay, so. If you're having a problem muting or hitting some of these other strings, you'll need to learn some left hand muting techniques. I cover that in that course. And then also um, here on YouTube, I've got a video called uh, left hand muting. I'll put that link below. And I also have one on right hand muting, but uh, left or here on YouTube, just type in your guitar stage left hand muting. Okay, so, and you'll learn how to do this. Okay, so we got now, this of all this little mess over here is not what you want to do, and it's confusing. You just stick with the E minor chord. Okay, you could do that. Now, another thing you could do is you could just hold on to that E minor and you could go. And you could go back and forth between the, the E and the B. Okay, so like this. Which may be a little bit easier for you. That's called alternate bass lines, okay? Alternating the bass line there. And then we're gonna do that with the B7 as well. So we got, well, how did me a boy turn him into a man? I showed him all the things that he didn't understand. Whoa! Now we're going to our B7. And for the B7, you're going to play the B and the F sharp for the bass. If you want to get fancy, otherwise just hang on the B7. Whoa! And let him go. So you could do that, or you could go back and forth between the B and the F sharp. So. And then I let him go. And so every time you go to that B7, you can do that, okay? So that's the verse, okay? That's what the verse is gonna consist of. Now, she does this little bit where she's like, oh, one, two, three, they're gonna run back to me. Come on, girl, the bells be out on the lyrics. Oh, one, two, three, they're gonna run back to me. They always wanna come, but they never wanna leave. X's, and then we're into the, the chorus, right? So for this part here, you could mute the strings and just one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Do that shuffle. If you're not doing the shuffle, your mom's gonna be mad. Okay, you gotta do that. Bop, 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 like skipping down the street. Do it slow at first if you need to. Like the very slow. Yeah. Okay, get it? All right, so you got that bit. Now, the chorus is going to go G. It's the same same strumming rhythm. Don't change it. So we got a G, X, D, E minor, B7, G, D, A minor, C.
that's another thing you can do here with this E minor is when you go to hit that B note, you can hit the E and the B at the same time, just bring your thumb over and mute that low E string. For those of you where that's too complex, ignore what I just said. For those of you that are like, ooh, that's a cool little tidbit, take it and run with it. See, like this. So you can hear that but I'm muting that low E so I'm not hitting it the second time around. Okay, now um, I think that's it, right? There's just that chorus, there's that, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the verse and the chorus, my friends. That's it, if you need help with anything, you know where to go, get those first 30 videos that I teach all students. It's the best foundation that you're gonna find on the internet or in books or anything else. It only took me a few thousand students to actually develop that. So there you go. You get to have the, uh, the reap the reward. Okay, so go there, my friends. If you need help with anything, I'll answer questions here uh, in the comments, also on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. Uh, free ebook at yourguitarsage.com. Tons of free stuff at yourguitarsage.com. Uh, so make sure you check that out. We're doing live videos, um, free live videos with me where you get to ask questions, all sorts. Go there and check it out. Um, you know what to do. Spay and new your animals. Be kind to one another. Don't trust the man. He's a tricky one. Don't trust him. And practice your guitar. See ya. One, two, three, they're gonna run back to me. I always wanna come, but they never wanna leave. Exit tonight.